Good morning expats and international students and welcome to my channel Good Morning Expat. This is Poor and I am here with new and informative videos on the cost of living in Milano which is a very important subject for future and existing expatriates and international students in Milan. I have been frequently requested by many of our loving subscribers to speak about the estimate of money that one is likely to spend on the various aspects of living in Milan like housing, cost of public transport, food and grocery prices and many other variable and fixed expenses. So here I am with more short video nuggets in the cost of living in Milano series which received a very welcome response from all of you last year. So I hope that like the last videos, you will find these new ones informative and useful in planning your upcoming stay in Milano. So let's get started. So looking good is very important when you are in Milan and therefore people spend a lot of time but also money on services that are related to enhancing their beauty and of course all the services related to hair styling and cutting. You can continue watching this video if you would like the complete information about cutting, styling and other hairdo services that are offered in Milano but not just that we will also talk about beauty and aesthetic services for both men and women. Before we get started, I would like to thank you all for your continued support and love. So my channel reached its first 1k subscribers uh, recently. So I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all the subscribers and viewers who have supported us so far. And I hope they will continue to do so in the future as well. Some basic concepts to understand before we can understand the pricing of these services. There are certain keywords that might help you. The first one is talio, which essentially means the cut itself that you want to get. This could be a basic trim or it could be an advanced haircut. The other important keyword that you will come across along with talio is piega. Piega does not mean the cut, but it means styling or blow dry, the effect that you create after the haircut usually. In Milan, because looking good is really important, so Italians spend a lot of time and money on services that are essentially for piega, which means the styling part. Uh, so they would go, you know, for a nice session to the hairdresser to get a straightening effect, a curling effect, uh, maybe like a, a proper ironing effect or even creating waves for that matter. And this is, these services essentially are called piega. Keyword number three, parrucchiere. Where would you go to get the haircut? You go to the parrucchiere. This is the word used for the hairstylist or the barber or the person who is going to actually do your hair. In case you have a party or you have a wedding and you need to get a nice hairdo done, then you go to a place which can do the acconciatura, which is essentially the Italian word for hairdos. Keyword number five, barba, which is the Italian word for beard. So our male friends to get their beard managed or to shave it off completely, they can go to a shop which is called a barbiere, which essentially means a barber shop. So now let's look at the costs. In Milano, for a basic shampoo and haircut for women, the cost would be between 15 and 50 euros. In case of men, this would be between, let's say eight, a bit lower starting from 8 to 40 euros depending on the place that you're going to. If you have a small kid, the prices would range from 8 to 20 euros for a basic shampoo and hair cutting session. One important thing to understand is that some hair salons 
would indicate the price of the cut, the shampoo and the blow dry all together in one price which would look something like this. You will also notice that if you are paying all together for the shampoo cut and also for the blow dry then the price would be a little bit lesser compared to if you were buying these services individually. There are other types of hairdressers who would have a price list which would look more like this. So these were the prices for the Thalio which is the cut. Now let's look at the prices for the Thalio plus Piega which means the haircut plus the styling. So if you're going to take the cut plus the shampoo plus the blow dry then in case of women the prices would range from 15 to 80 euros quite a wide range because there are many types of haircuts for women. In case of men the range would be again 15 to 50 euros depending on the place that you go to. For kids this would be something like 15 to 25 euros. These are the price ranges in Milano more or less similar in other big cities like Roma as well. If you are in smaller cities, it may cost a little bit less to get a haircut, a blow dry, a styling treatment or any other advanced treatment as well because of course the cost of living in different cities is, is supposed to be different. The other major difference that comes is also depending on the place that you go to. So who is your parukiere exactly? If you go to the branded ones like Coppola or Jean-Louis David, of course they charge a premium, premium price for the brand that they are. Uh, on the other hand, if you go to some uh, small parukiere which is just on your street, it might cost you a little bit less for the same type of treatment, not that the quality is compromised. For example, in Milano, there are a lot of cheap, fast moving and convenient hairdressing places which are often owned by the Chinese. These are very popular among students, for example, who are often living on a budget. These places are cheap and convenient if you want to get just a basic trim or just a basic hairstyle if you have a party you know that has been planned last moment then these come in handy if you want to get a really really basic service and fast. So these are found in every nook and corner of the city. A basic hairdressing service at these Chinese parlors would cost as less as 8 euros for men and 10 euros for women so really cheap and convenient. There aren't just the Chinese ones, but there are also very nice Italian hairdressers uh, which are not very costly but are for everyday services. One such is called L'Italiano where the hairdressing service for men can start at as less as 8 euros again and for women at 10 euros. The difference in prices between different salons is not just because of the brand name they are. It's also because of the type and quality of products that they use like hair styling gels, uh, coloring products, shampoos, hair conditioners and so on. There are some very nice Italian hairdressers who are not super big brand names but their prices are relatively more expensive than the average market prices because of the type and quality of things that they use. One such is Giovanni Esposito and you can check out the video that I created with him some months ago using the link that's hovering on top of the screen and I'm sure you'll find it very interesting. So these are salons where you go to get a super nice relaxing uh, hairdressing session uh, with an expert and talented parukiere or hairdresser. Whereas for the everyday treatments, of course, like the, the fast moving ones that I talked about, even the Chinese ones could come in handy. These are costs for regular haircuts or stylings or like a shampooing session. But if you want to go for an advanced treatment like permanent straightening or semi-permanent straightening or curling, then you would start at at least 40 euros and the prices can go up to 200 or even 250 euros in case of very advanced treatments or therapies. Coloring or decoloring, for example, would start at a similar range of 40 euros, for example, going up to 100 or 120 euros. Milan is all about luxury fashion and styling. So there are some very big names in the field of hairdressing and salon culture. 
Uh, some of them you can see here on the screen. So if you're looking for a super looks, a super luxury hair styling session, like a day dedicated to yourself, maybe, you know, spend a little bit of money to pamper yourself, then you can go to one of these barbers or hairdressers. So if you're looking for aesthetic services or beauty services like waxing, hair removal, threading and so on, then the place that you need to go to is called an aesthetica. Often uh, when you come from Asia or even in, from India, uh, the beauty parlor is supposed to have both the hair styling and salon services plus the essential aesthetic or beauty services. Here the two are differentiated. So for hair styling and hair related services, you go to the parukiere, whereas for aesthetic services, beautification services, you would go to the aesthetica. The aesthetica, meaning these uh, places where you can get uh, threading, waxing, uh, hair uh, not hair treatments, but hair removal treatments, facials, other types of things for the face. Uh, these can cost, um, again, starting from as low as 5 euros to get your eyebrows done, ranging up to even hundreds of euros for advanced treatments. Some of them would offer only essential services, like I said, hair removal and so on. Others may have even very advanced treatments like spa therapies and so on. Also, Milan has a lot of famous uh, Asian or Thai spa uh, centers, which are very popular among uh, locals, but also expatriates. So they are called uh, Chentri uh, Benessere, usually. The third type of service that you might need is for your nails. So there are dedicated nail bars or nail salons often owned by uh, Asian or Chinese uh, nail artists but even uh, those owned by Italian and local artists and these are places dedicated only to nails. Sometimes they may have also services for the cleanup of hands and feet like manicures and pedicures but uh, they are usually only dedicated to the nail treatment so you know getting the coloration, uh, French manicures and all other types of uh, treatments related to the maintenance of your nails. So this was all the information about the type of costs that you might incur on beauty and aesthetic services but also hair styling services in Milan. I hope you found this video interesting and useful in planning your upcoming stay as an expat or international student in the lovely city of Milano. To conclude, I can say that the prices of these services in Milan are comparatively way cheaper than many other European capitals like London, Paris, Frankfurt and so on. So to give you an example, a basic haircut for example in an average city in France, Paris let alone <laughs> Paris, uh, but it would at least start at 40 euros. Here you can get that for as, late, as less as 8 or 10 euros. So compared to that, there is a really big difference. This is why I wanted to cover this important aspect that might affect your overall cost of living in Milan. So I hope this information was useful for you. Give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it, love it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good morning expat.